Okay, today we're going to talk about what to do after your marathon. And I'm talking about right after. I run through that shoot. First thing I want to do, make sure I get that medal, right? I've just spent all this time doing this hard work. I want the bling. Next is you're going to be sweaty. Uh, who knows if it's windy. You're going to be clammy. You want to be, get warm. So you want one of those Mylar blankets. Uh, you want to get in some soft clothes, sweatshirt, get out of your wet clothes, that kind of stuff. You don't want to get that chill afterwards that you will get from being fatigued and stuff. So soft clothes. Uh, next will be shoes. Uh, some people say uh, you shouldn't go into um, sandals and stuff. It should be more of a sneak or something that has some support. Sandals do have some support now and that stuff. So you want to get in whatever is going to be comfortable on your feet because your feet are going to be sore. Next is you're going to want to get some nutrition in you right away, which would be like liquid. They had, know they have bananas, that kind of stuff. You want to just make sure they're soft. You want to get some liquid in there. You want some protein and some carbs to help get them glycogen scores back up. Next you're going to do is... Um, Get off your feet when you can. You want to get off your feet so that way you can take all the pressure, you know, from your legs and that kind of stuff. Kind of help with blood circulation. So if you go home, make sure someone's checking on you. Make sure you're okay to be by yourself. You'd be surprised a couple hours after how tired you actually get. So you make sure someone's going to be checking on you. But you want to take it easy. Don't go cut the grass and do some crazy stuff like that. Even though, you know, you got a honey-do list and my wife would want me to be doing that kind of stuff. Uh, then the next day, well, the big thing that night, try to get some sleep. Rest is going to be the next thing for the body to recover. So good sleep. The next day, well, same thing with that night. You're just going to take a shower. You want to clean up. You want to look for any spots, blisters, that kind of stuff, and, and kind of take care of any damaged spots. Uh, what's good is the roller, foam roller, uh, those kind of things, self-massage to help you, uh, re, you know, get the blood flowing, that kind of stuff to help uh, repair, help with the buildup. Uh, the next is going to be uh, eating, getting a good meal, some good food, that kind of stuff, and then I guess celebrate. Well, I, I, I skipped all the way to sleeping. We want to do a little bit of a celebration. You just want to be careful on how much celebration you do because alcohol and stuff isn't the best thing to help you recover. But of course, you know, you spent a lot of time training for this. You want to enjoy the uh, celebration with friends, family, that kind of stuff. Do so. Just be careful. Uh, the following day, once again, you want to take care of any bad spots. You want to make sure you're eating properly. And then you want to do some active recovery. That's walking, swimming, possibly some light biking. And then as the days progress from there, you just want to keep doing the uh, the kind of the light stuff. You don't want to start running again, so put your shoes away. But swimming, some kind of cross training, not high intense, that kind of stuff. Just to keep your blood flowing, to keep you moving, that stuff is going to help you to recover faster. And the next is, hey, sign up for another race. You know, join our training group. Those kind of things will get you psyched up and get you ready for your uh, next adventure. So running is easy. Right, left, uh, repeat. Just don't forget to smile.